tied a mooring line off at the walking beam engine. And once that's done uh, safely and securely, then divers that follow are able to explore the site extensively, knowing that they have a place to come back to and come up and do what is known as decompression safely. Mm -hmm. uh, a site like this is uh, very unusual for a number of reasons. One is, I could have simply expected to have found this in 1993. Hmm. And uh, one of the reasons for that was that the last known location was off of what we call the thumb of Michigan. Mm -hmm. And the debris that uh, came ashore or was seen 10 days later was even further down the lake, if you will. So all the indications were that uh, this vessel should have been found 20 years ago mm -hmm. instead of today. Mm -hmm.